So the Rebbe says, watch this. Since his father-in-law, the previous Rebbe, in truth, really, really completely reached the point of such utter selflessness. And the reason he was fighting the, fight, the battle in the Soviet Union to keep Judaism alive had nothing to do with him and nothing to do with him even wanting to serve God. It was just because God wants Judaism to continue and God wants mitzvahs and that should happen at all costs and nothing can stop that. And even if it means me giving my life together with all my followers, this will happen. Because it needs to be done, not because, of, not because I need to do or I need something from it or I want the messianic age to gain nothing. It needs to happen. When someone reaches such a point of nullification, then when he prays, he can promise and pray at the same moment. What's a prayer? A prayer, the Rebbe says, is when you are you and you're praying to God. What's a promise? When a tzaddik gives a promise, he can, a tzaddik can't promise on his own. He's promising because he's an agent of God. That's why he's promising. So when a tzaddik gives you a promise, he is then being a conduit. When a tzaddik is praying, means he's putting on another hat. He's saying, now I'm returning back to me, me not being God, and I'm asking Hashem for, for a thing. The Rebbe says, by most tzaddikim, a prayer and a promise are two hats. But by somebody who hallowed out his self so much that there's no self, and the self that he has, the very self, is the self of the divine. Like when someone does Messiris Nefesh and the Messiris Nefesh is not at all about him. So it's an I because to do Messiris Nefesh there has to come from you. But at the same time that very I is so permeated by the source. A person like that can pr pray and promise in combination. Because his self is the same one who can promise. Because it's not him. So there is a self that's praying but there's also a self that's promising because that self is the divine self. There's absolute oneness. That's Mashiach. Mashiach is in this state of being, being Mashiach, but at the same time has no identity.